Today we're talking about MLE or Multicultural London English. This is the new accent on the block and it seems to be taking over from Cockney. So the question is, is it the death of Cockney? Hello, it's John, your pronunciation and accents coach and right here you can get a better British accent. Now, in this tutorial, I thought we could focus on the sounds that you drop, you keep and you change. Plus a top TV tip at the end of the video. But first, some background with Emily and T. How has this accent come about? Think about the culture of London over the centuries and this is now a culmination of these uh, cultures mixing with each other and multicultural London English is the result of different ethnic groups mixing together. It's much like drinking a cup of tea, I think. Or in fact, brewing the tea, more importantly. And I've got four different types of tea in the teapot. So, I'm going to pour myself a cup of tea. Actually, that's okay. I mean, it's an interesting blend. I can feel all the influences around it. So it is just like drinking a cup of tea. Okay, let's move on to the actual tutorial. Well, let's start with top down, the most important features, I think, because I think the first feature is really interesting and it's called don't drop your H's. Yes, H's are back in a big way. With Cockney, Cockney made H's disappear. That is to say, if the word starts with an H, then in Cockney, uh, you don't really say the H, but in multicultural London English, you do say the H. In Cockney, I would say, I made into the ass. And in multicultural London English, I might say, I'm head into the house. You see, I pronounce my H's in M-L-E. So there you go. This is a, quite an interesting aspect, I think. The next one, let's move on to the next one, which is TH stopping. Now, TH stopping is when the TH sound in words is either replaced with a T sound or a D sound. Okay, so for example, thing becomes ting and brother can be brother. Also, youth becomes ute. Ute. That that can be that and this can be this. So you can say this one or that one in MLE. We've done TH stopping, so let's try TH fronting. Okay, so now we're replacing the TH sounds with either a F or a V. Okay, so let's take a look at what it sounds like in speech. In MLE, you might say what month was your brother born in? Now, it does sound a bit like Cockney because actually in Cockney, you also have this technique as well. So there are actually quite a lot of similarities between Cockney and MLE. All right, now, so that was TH fronting. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So, you know, we can also drop sounds in words like gonna and wanna. And, of course, there's this very famous word from MLE, and it's in it. Or in it. Now, of course, in it means isn't it, theoretically. But in practice, it can al almost mean any uh, ending or question tag when we use it. So, for example, you can say... You could say, are you going to take it, in it? Okay, the next one is... Next is L vocalization. So this is where an L sound in certain words becomes a W or an O sound. I'll give you an example. So there's this famous tunnel under the channel between England and France. And it's called, in RP, you would say the channel tunnel. And in MLE, you could say it's the channel tunnel. You probably also hear that it's a bit like Cockney as well there because again it's one of these techniques. It's in Cockney, Estuary English and MLE. Okay, 
but it's not really part of RP. Right, so let's move on to my top TV tip for this week is... Uh, there's a series called Top Boy, which is absolutely brilliant, very hard-hitting, very thought-provoking, but um, really is a good representation of the MLE accent because all the actors have some kind of MLE accent in it. In it. <laughs> but it is not for kids. So be careful when you watch it. Uh, adults only, please, because there is content in there which I think is not really that good for kids. Okay? So that's my top tip. And it's available on Netflix and uh, possibly other channels as well. All right. Now, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And what I want to do now, I want to, I'm going to ask you a favor. Let's see how quickly we can get this tutorial to 100 likes, right? I want it to be as quick as possible. Can you like the video now? And we'll see how quickly it gets to 100 likes. It'd be an interesting experiment, I think. Okay, and also you can check out my channel because I have lots of other videos on accents, including Cockney and Estuary English. And I hope that you like this video today. And all I have to do now is say, stay connected and see you later. Bye. In it. <laughs>